Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is first non-repeating character in a stream and it is a medium level problem. So finally after a very long time, we have a medium level problem. But I would still say it is on the easier side of the medium range of difficulty. And uh, it says that we have been given an input stream of n characters. So basically we have been given a string and it only consists of lowercase characters, right? Now uh, what we have to do is we have to read the characters on the stream from left to right and we have to tell which of the characters has only appeared once in the stream up to that particular point. If there are many characters that have appeared only once, we have to tell which one is the first of them to appear and if there is no such character, we have to append hash to the answer, right? So we will discuss with the help of this sample disk case, but let us first look at the space and time complexity. So the time complexity is 26 into n and the space complexity is 26 and uh, we will see in a while what we can do about this and let us discuss this particular sample disk case A, A, B, C and uh, here we have it. So if the input is A, A, B, C, when we encountered the first character, so it has the frequency 1, right? Now there is no problem with it, we can write it. Now if when we encounter the character A the second time, now its frequency becomes greater than 1, that means it is not a valid character anymore. And since we don't have any other characters other than A, so we have to print hash, right? Now we encounter the character B, so this is a character with only one frequency now, so we have to print B. Now we encounter the character C. So now we have two characters B and C which have the frequency 1 and 1 respectively, right? So we have to write B because B occurred before C. So we have to write B here again. So this is the answer for the first sample test case. Now let's say B was present again here. Now the answer would have been C here, right? Because now C is a character that has only one frequency. All the other characters have at least frequency of 2. Now if I include again C here, since there will be no characters remaining, I have to print hash. So this is our whole idea. So there are actually two parts to this problem. So we'll try to divide this problem into two parts and solve them so that it is easier to understand. So let me just write it down here. So the first part is deciding whether a character is valid or not. Right. So this is our first part. And now we know what are all the characters are valid. Printing the first among them. By first I mean which occurred before all of the other characters, right? So the second part is relatively easy and the first part is easy as well, but I'm just starting with the second part. So since you're traversing from the left to right to maintain which was the first among them is relatively easy because you can just maintain a data structure like a queue, right? Why a queue? Because when you will be traversing from left to right, the first character will be the first to occur, right? So the queue works on first come first serve. So when a character comes first, it will be placed first in a queue and that is exactly what you want. The character which comes first should be the first priority of our answer, right? So a queue would be a very good data structure to store some information like this. Now checking whether a character is valid or not is also very easy. We can maintain a frequency array of size 26, initially all the values will be 0 and a character is only valid. It is only valid when its frequency is 1. Why? Why is it so? Because when its frequency is 0, that means we have never encountered a character. When its frequency is 1, you know why it is valid because it has occurred only once in the string. Now when it occurs a second time, so a value of f of i greater than 1. That means it has occurred more than one time and it is again not valid. So it is not valid for 0, it is not valid for any value greater than 1, it is only valid for 1, right? So whenever the frequency of any element is 1, it is only valid till then. So to solve this question, you need to utilize these two informations or these two data structures together and it is very easy to solve them. Now you might wonder how what is the space and time complexity of this particular problem. You see that the size of the queue will be at max at any moment it will be 26. Why? Suppose let us take a situation when all the characters are valid. So the queue will have all the elements from A to Z. So this is the worst case. Now any new element 
will not come inside this queue because let's say we encountered all a to z now again we have a a right so this a character will become invalid and it should be removed from the queue because queue is only containing the valid characters we will see in a while how it is how we are trying to maintain this validity but whenever a new a is encountered this particular a will be removed from the queue and a will never be inserted again because now the frequency of a will always remain greater than 1 and that is why it will be a not valid character so now the size of the queue is only limited to 25 right so you see whenever whenever the size reaches or whenever the size of the queue reaches 26 in the worst case and as soon as you encounter a new character it is only going to reduce from then it will never increase right so this is how we know that there is an upper bound on the size of the queue now this is already of size 26 so the overall space complexity is at max 2 into 26 which is roughly of the same order of o of 26 now coming on to the time complexity i believe it is not 26 into n as mentioned in the question it should be for our question it will be 26 plus n and why is it so so this particular n is obviously for the traversal of the string and for this particular 26 you will see that q insertion operation when we insert a new character in the queue or a new valid character it will take o of one time right now to remove the invalid characters from the queue that is the operation that can take some linear time right because there can be more than one characters but you will see once we remove a character let's say we remove a from the queue as we have discussed here when we remove a from the queue it will never be inserted again so whenever we are removing an item we are removing each character at most once from the queue right because once it becomes invalid it will never be inserted into the queue again right so we will remove at max 26 items over the course of this string from the queue so this value of 26 will not be multiplied by n because over the course of the string over all the n characters only 26 unique characters will be removed so it should be n plus 26 right when it is 26 into n it is 26 into n when for each character for one one character we are removing 26 character for second place we are removing 26 character for third place we are removing 26 characters in such a case it is n into 26 but you are observing here we are removing each character only once through the course of the entire string right when we traverse through the whole string we are removing each character at most once from the queue so we see that the sum of removals over all characters is 26 so this is our reasoning why it should be n plus 26 because the the only linear operation is removal of the invalid uh, elements and each character will be only removed once from the entire queue right so let us have a look at the code now so in this particular problem what i have done is i have created a queue and i have created a vector it will be it will be storing the frequency of elements and i created a string answer right now what i do is i just traverse to the string now i increment the frequency of each character if its frequency is equal to one i push it into my queue so you see only when its frequency is equal to one i am pushing it into my queue now my queue is always containing valid characters right so now i want to remove the invalid characters how can i do it while queue dot size that means if the queue has at least one element and the element at the front of the queue has a frequency greater than one i want to remove it from the from my queue right so i don't care about the elements that are uh, not at the first position right now because anyways i will be removing them later i just need to be concerned about the first element because that is what i will be adding to my answer right now if the size of the queue that means if the queue has at least one element i'll add that element to my answer otherwise i'll add hash to my answer at the end i can just return my answer value and let me just sum this and show you that this solution is absolutely correct and it works so you see it passes all the test cases and the solution is correct i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video was actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems so i see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet in case you're one of them then definitely consider subscribing 
It's always free of cost and you can always subscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.